Hey guys, so I wanted to quickly come and show you guys how I took out a um, bathtub drain that was missing the T, that cross thread that's inside, without a special tool. This is what this video is about. It's not about buying, going out and buying an overpriced tool. It's using what you already have. Okay, so if you have a needle nose plier or pliers, you know, regular pliers and a small hammer like this one, take it, put it inside of the drain, and then use the um, pliers to put between the hammer and the inside of the drain to create resistance. It should kind of jam it, like it should be a jam, and this way you're able to turn it. You will need to turn the drain counterclockwise, okay? And just, just as I'm doing here, just counterclockwise, this will be able to take the drain out. This drain was installed about 12 years ago, and the person who installed it used caulk underneath the drain instead of plumber's putty, which also made it really, really hard to get out. This is not a video to show you how to go buy a tool. This is to show you how to use what you got. All right, you guys, so this is how the drain looks when I took it out. It has a lot of calcium buildup. You can see the caulk around the threads of the drain. You know, um, that's not what I've seen done before or what I've researched. So that wasn't correct. But anyways, you're going to need a hammer, like I said, a pair of pliers. And when you put it in the drain, you want it to jam. Okay, you want it to have like resistance where if you try to turn it, it can't turn. So this way you, you push on it and go counterclockwise and you should be able to take the drain out without using a special tool that you bought again this video is not for someone who wants to go buy a special tool this video is for someone who doesn't have an extra 20 25 dollars to buy a tool once to use once okay just use what you got and take the drain out all right to install a new drain you're going to need plumber's putty and it'll come out it'll look like putty like almost like play-doh okay and you're gonna roll it and get like a good maybe something smaller than a one inch thickness roll and you're going to put this on the base of the new drain and put the drain in don't worry about what squeezes out you want that to happen this is going to seal off the space between the drain and the tub and create a waterproof seal okay so as you guys could see I'm actually using my pliers to put this drain back in I opened my pliers put it in between the T thread um, excuse Lucy and turned it clockwise installed it took off the excess amount of um, plumbers putty okay and put in the um, the pop-up stop I ended up replacing this drain not because anything was wrong with it I accidentally let um, bathroom toilet cleaner drip on it and it tarnished the finish on the chrome so be careful with chrome and toilet cleaner because it will mess up the finish on chrome okay but I did replace it with a similar one um, they didn't have this pop-up one anymore. I was sad, but I just replaced it with one similar that you just have to use your hands to pull it up and down. So this is the before of the drain. Okay, no thread, no no T, no nothing. This was the new drain that I absolutely loved. I messed that up. It's okay. I messed it up by accidentally letting toilet cleaner go on it. So to finish off the tub, I had to take the drain back out. That's fine. I painted the tub. I did a whole makeover on my kid's bathroom. If you guys are interested in that video, I'll have the link down below right on the top. Check it out. Let me know what you think. But it was a pretty affordable um, makeover. It didn't cost a lot. Okay, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Again, all you need is a hammer. Not a fancy hammer, you could get a cheap dollar store hammer, a cheap dollar store pliers if you have to go buy one, and just create some resistance in the drain, turn counterclockwise, and you'll get the drain out if your threads are, you know, messed up like these were. This is how um, the drain came, you know, when we got the house, so yeah, all right? And you can even use the pliers. Um, to take out a drain that um, still has its thread. So you don't need the fancy, fancy tool, drain removing tool. But if you want to buy it, go ahead. Knock yourself out. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all very soon in another video.
Bye, guys.